My name is Jody Minnis. I'm the current resident artist at the current Bahama Gallery and Art Center. Interestingly enough, I was driving down Village Road and I saw a mural on this building and I told my mom to pull over. I didn't know what was in the building, but I was just like, I, I have to go. We went upstairs, like when the door, Alan Wallace, Javon Nixon, Ellery DeVoe, and Moya Strawn was hosting art classes in that building. I, that was the beginning. I would describe myself as an interdisciplinary artist, um, as well as a multidisciplinary artist. So interdisciplinary as in each discipline informs another. So I would start with a sculpture, which would end up as a painting, or I would start with a painting that ends up like a sculpture. I also produce works as in sculptures stand alone and these paintings stand alone. So I do many different things, um, but they all inform one another. So I start with concept first always. So I think about why I'm creating what I want to create. And then I go through um, a photography process. So I photograph myself, or I photograph friends, or I just like look at all of the photos on my phone for visual reference. And then I would either trace it or I'll just freehand it and then mix up the oil paint and that's that. I reference aspects of Bohemian culture, specifically through different forms of media, whether it's like music or videos that I see online um, or conversations that I have like with my friends. And I can reduce it and expand it in a way that serves as like the conceptual basis for a lot of my work, so. I want people to think of me not just as a, a woman artist, but just as an artist per se. And I want to sort of redefine how we create contemporary Caribbean work. I try to stay away from blues and greens and the bright yellows and the bright colors because my surroundings are more like warm and like I have like deep reds and like browns and green like deep greens because that's my surroundings and my experience so I just want people to learn that there's no like monolith to what Bahamian art can look like and that all of these practices are valid so my practice is valid even though it may not look like the stereotypical landscape or beat scene. I've had people break down in exhibitions and confess to me things that they haven't confessed to anybody before or they felt um, more confident or empowered by something I did or by something I painted. I want people to feel brave and courageous because that's what I try to be in my work. During my residency at the current, I'll be painting a few portraits and interior scenes. Um, sort of like intimate spaces and portraits of myself and close like friends. It's also negotiating what it means to be a Bahama Mama as well. So taking that term like super literally, but also like reducing it to like a stereotype as well. Just creating other like pockets and possibilities and timelines through that. I forget that I'm in a hotel um, until I look behind me and I see like the mirror and people like watching me work. I forget that this is work, if that makes sense. It feels like I'm going into my own studio to create work um, and it's only until like 10 p.m. at night where I'm like, oh shoot, they're closing, I have to go. Overall, it's been a lovely experience because just that um, community aspect of it, I think it's Unparalleled, you can't really get it anywhere else. I'm enjoying the work that I'm making. I think that I'm in a stride now, so yeah, I'm thoroughly enjoying this residency. <laughs> Art is everything to me. It's a lifestyle, it's a necessity, it's, it's everything. I think it, you can't detach yourself from it, no matter what you try to do. It's all of the things and none of the things at the same time. <laughs>